Tattoos have been around for thousands of years. They span cultures, even cross social backgrounds. But what is the draw to this ancient tradition that permanently marks a person? TV6's Escanaba Bureau reporter Yona Gavino explored the topic. It tells us what motivates people to go under the needle and behind the ink. Many people get tattoos as a form of self-expression. They can express someone's hobbies or their hometown. My kids will always be a part of me. You know, I love them to death, and this is, to me, is a way to um, just have them with me all the time. So Jake Owens barefoot. Hicks Country's Mike Flavor first got inked when he was 16. One tattoo in particular expresses a culinary interest. And I had said that I loved that food so much that I'm going to get that symbol tattooed on my body, and I did. <laughs> so that's it. What does it mean? I think it means beef and rice. Still, it's a good decision to think long and hard before you get one. That's why you try to make sure that somebody knows what they want and gets what they want. You know, and doesn't just do it on a whim, because that's when you're going to regret it, if you do it on a whim. According to a survey from the American Academy of Dermatology, 24% of Americans between 18 and 50 are tattooed. George Breyer of Escanaba is one of those people with tattoos. He used to work in sales at radio stations for 12 years, and he says while it wasn't mandatory, he wore shirts and ties at work so he could be more relatable to clients. Yeah. Breyer noticed how things changed once the shirt and tie came off. He shared with me an incident during a Caribbean cruise when he walked out to the hot tub. And it was the first time they ever saw me without a shirt on, and they were like, oh, didn't know that he had those tattoos, and I could tell that one of the older ladies was a little offended. Still, everyone I spoke to says they don't regret getting their body art, not even when it's a parent who disapproves. <laughs> My mom's not a huge fan of it. She's probably going to be pretty upset that I'm getting another one. Yeah, if I got, if this was my last tattoo, my mom would be happy. But if you've already got a tattoo, what are the options to hide it? There's a cheaper and faster way that doesn't involve a laser. I'll tell you the alternative in part two of our special on tattoos. Yona Govino, TV6 News, Escanaba.